Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I just had a hip removed three weeks ago, so I'm recuperating, so you'll have to forgive me for uh, my, if I was this slow for Lombardi, he'd have fired my. <laughs> uh, first of all, there's one thing that I'll never do. I won't even get in a boat and try to go to Indiana from the Kentucky shore. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't think I've ever met anybody who ever accomplished anything that big as this young lady who, who went from our shores uh, across, across the, the ocean. That's fantastic. Let me congratulate you on one of the greatest achievements in sports history. It really is something. And secondly, let me congratulate Joe Steyer and this great company. You're gonna find, you're gonna find you made a great decision because you're gonna get more help in this city than I think you would have in many other cities. It's absolutely sensational what people will do for you in this city. I've lived here all my life. I love Louisville. I wouldn't live anywhere else. You're going to be living in a city that, well, has about 500 to 600,000 people and a million people around the area. But everybody works together. They're friendly. And most of the companies that come here, like you, will be very successful, and I think you will be too, and you'll be very happy with the uh, friendships that you're gonna make. This is a friendly, friendly area for business. And uh, I've been very lucky to have some pretty good partners. I haven't worked much, Cheryl, are you kidding? The people that I've known have, have done the work for, for Mr. Harning, but I love Louisville, and I wouldn't live anywhere else. I've lived here my complete career. I lived in Florida for a while, for about a year, uh, for about 10 years, but that was enough. And, uh, <laughs> the only thing I liked was no state tax. Boy, I love that. <laughs> but anyway, we heard for some, from some great, great people today. You know, uh, I, re I remember the coach when he was at the University of Louisville as an assistant, Scotty. And boy, he was a, he was a worker. He, he demanded the very best from his kids. And he was a cinch to be successful. And what he's done with the Bellman program has just been absolutely outstanding. You cannot get a ticket to a Bellman game anymore. And uh, that's due directly to his abilities. Uh, uh, we've been very fortunate. Well, we've had great leadership at the University of Louisville. What they've done in uh, health care has just been unbelievable. Thank heavens, I can walk. Uh, I, my doctor is an ex U of L guy, and he did my hip my, and, and my knee. And uh, uh, when you go through these serious operations, it's good to know that you're in a city where you can depend on great health care. And, and we depend on it. Uh, uh, we have great people here that, that have business. And can, all you have to do is pick up the telephone and talk to them. You will get to somebody of importance, I will guarantee you. Now, here's one great thing that you're all going to understand when you move here. This, unlike any other city in America, you, you're going to be living in a community, like I said, with about a million people that you could touch within a, maybe 20 or 30 miles. But there's no traffic in, the, in this city. There really isn't. I'm never in my car over 15 minutes. Name me one other city in America that you can say that. I've lived in Chicago. I've lived in Milwaukee. I've lived, well, a, a week and a half in New York. <laughs> um, but this town is the most 
I mean, I mean, you can just get around. You never have that much problem with traffic. You know, I find that most people, when they come here to Louisville, after a while they're here, they start when they have about a 15 or 20 minute wait. You know, because they're so used to good service that all of a sudden now it's 15 or 20 minutes and I start thinking, you know, you guys, <laughs> did you ever try to go up from O'Hare downtown at 4.30 for heaven's sakes? Uh, so we've got a great young mayor that I think we're gonna be very proud of in years to come. He's a great businessman and I think we needed that and I think you're going to see his leadership lead to business people uh, accepting our invitations here in Louisville because we got a lot to offer in, in, in this city. And uh, I, I've been very fortunate, you know. I, like like I said, I've I've lived here. I've I've never had a job, and uh, I've gone through life without a job. Uh, I've never worked. And I don't want to ever work. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but uh, uh, I, I'm happy our company, we bought Seagram's Distillery about five years ago, our, our little company, and we do about 250, 300 million a year uh, making food products. And it's been very, very successful, and only, only with our great times with the other cities with the other businesses in the city. You know, I go way back with Kentucky Fried Chicken, for instance. And I was responsible. I've always said the one great thing that I was proud of is I got Colonel Sanders on What's My Line. <laughs> and that was his first national appearance. And of course, he was a big hit. Nobody knew who in the hell he was. Came on with that white suit. And I think it was Considine. And, and, and the, the lady, I forget her name right now, but, but anyway, they took Colonel Sanders on that show and it was one of the uh, biggest things for KFC at that time. And uh, Lombardi never forgave me because when KFC stock came out, I bought some and I was uh, pushed to it. Some of the people in the company had uh, said, Paul, you gotta buy some stock in KFC and I did. And I told Coach Lombardi about it, and I said, Coach, you gotta buy some stock. And this was in the 60s. And he never did. And every day he'd come into practice, and he said, Horning, what's the stock this morning? I said, it's up a point and a half. <laughs> and he would curse and then go back into the room. And, uh, but this went on for about a month and a half, and, but he never did. Uh, follow my He was too tight to buy any stock. He would, never, he would never do anything. All he knew was football. And that's all he wanted to know. Uh, to me, he was the greatest person I've ever known. And I was ready for Lombardi. He didn't bother me a bit. Hell, I had Pauly Miller here at Flash A High School. I mean, Pauly Miller is one of the great coaches that I've ever known. And he's on a level with anybody that I've ever been with because uh, we had a state championship team. And when you're in high school, that's the most important time in any athlete's life. And I, I'm sure Scotty will tell you the same, that the basketball players, if they look back on their career, they're gonna tell you, high school, I enjoyed my high school career. I did too, I, I didn't enjoy anything anymore than my high school career with football, baseball, and basketball. You know, and I was very happy in our dinner last year that I initiated the Hard Schnellenberger Award, which is given to the most valuable player in the Kentucky Louisville football game. And it will be given every year in Hart's name because of all the people uh, that really helped the University of Louisville football was Hard Schnellenberger. And of course, he and I played football, baseball, and basketball together at Flash A. And he always tells the story. He said, you know, I was a center and not a big center. That's back when you were white, six foot two, and you could play center. Can't do that anymore. But anyway, Hart said, if I wanted a shot, I had to get the rebound off the defensive board, dribble down and shoot. Because if I ever gave it up to Horning or Sipes, I'd never see it back. I would never see the ball again. So uh, we're going to have the Hart Schnellenberger Award every year with our dinner. 
And I'll guarantee you we're going to have one of the great dinners in America. Uh, we had 750 people last year, and Carl, Carl Schultz uh, did a fantastic job. And the Louisville Sports Commission was just fantastic in promoting this. I was very proud of it, and I think we're going to be proud of it. I think the mayor uh, uh, saw us uh, in a different light because for the first time, you know, for our first dinner, when we had 750 people there, we really surprised a lot of people. And uh, I was very proud of the dinner. And I'm very proud of that uh, signature has decided to come to Louisville. Like I said, you're going to be, you're going to enjoy this city, not only because you're going to do business, but you're going to enjoy your business. It's a wonderful city to live in. And uh, we have great things for you, this KFC Center, look what it's done for our downtown. Just absolutely been a sensational addition. And uh, we got a lot more things coming. And thank you, uh, you people, for coming in and uh, taking the advantage of, of listening to some of the people that you've listened to before. Uh, because they're what Louisville is all about. Listen to them, because they're going to tell you the truth. And I thank you very much for the opportunity to be here today. And anything I, we can do to help you, call. Now, if you want me to sign that football, that's $500. And, uh, <laughs> and on that note,